WBAL TV 11 editorial board. Here is President and General Manager Dan Jarrett. Summer is a time for rest and relaxation. Most children are out of school, enjoying their time off, away at camp, or on vacation with family, taking in the summer heat and sunny skies. Unfortunately, a dark cloud persists over the skies of Baltimore City. As the summer heats up, the city has seen yet another surge in violence. But this year, the all too familiar scenario we see play out every summer is highlighted by the shooting of Taylor Hayes. The seven year old was caught in the crossfire of a shootout as she sat inside a car in southwest Baltimore. And like every summer, when violence spikes, our local leaders and lawmakers call for action and community members are outraged. I'm going to stay up on this corner day after day until the perpetrator who shot Taylor in the back is found. Days before summer arrived, Baltimore Mayor Catherine Pugh and the Baltimore Police Department released a comprehensive violence reduction strategy. The plan was drafted to get ahead of the anticipated summer crime surge and focused on enhanced federal and state law enforcement partnerships and new crime fighting technology. But is it working? Let's take a look at the numbers. In the nearly three weeks since the mayor introduced the plan, the city has seen 39 shootings. Eight of them were deadly. The city has seen a 20% reduction in homicides over the last year, but one homicide is one too many. Perhaps it's time for the city leaders and police department to go back to the drawing board and come up with a better plan. Maybe by this time next year, our kids can enjoy a fun-filled and safe summer in Baltimore City. WBAL-TV welcomes responsible replies to this editorial.